Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're gonna talk about how sizing fittings airline is critical for your solutions and it affects speed. So most people think that um, the flow is controlled by speed control. So we'll talk about that a little bit later or in a different video. But today we're gonna focus on why air size of tubing and fittings and not restricting it is important. So here you'll see that we have a T in the line. We have a reducer, so we're restricting it from a 3 8 down to a quarter inch line. Sometimes that can affect the overall speed of a solution or your system. So if you're not getting the most efficiency out of your system, you may wanna look at, hey, are you restricting flow through just fittings? The other thing to look at is your tubing. If you have a lot of tubing here, you're actually creating a reservoir within the air tube itself. The shorter the line, the better, all right? So today we're gonna show you how, hey, utilizing a fitting here, a reducer with the T going once again from a 3 8 to a quarter, how that's gonna affect the overall speed of the system. We'll show you before with it, then we're gonna remove them, take them off, put 3 8 line so it's full flow through, and you'll see how the speed increases once we do that. Be back to in a minute. All right, let's see how a small change in the sizing of our fittings and tubing makes a huge difference in the speed and efficiency of a system. What we've done is we've taken out the reducer in the system. So this is a 3 8 fitting with a reducer. We've removed all the reducers out of the air system. And now we've gone to straight 3 8 tubing, eliminating this reducer in it, okay? Now let's see how fast that same cylinder in that same application goes. You ready to see the speed? Here it comes. A little bit faster, don't you think? 